first song I ever wrote. It's an interesting story, I think. I would sit in my, uh, my library and my office were in the same room, and I would, I would just became about tuba. I didn't know many songs. And so I was, would daven, would pray by myself, and after I would pray, I would sit down at my desk in the same room, and I would begin doing my work. And I would, somehow, this song would run through my mind. And it did it again and again and again. And the words, Ashrei Ha'ish, happy is the man, at Sheyishma'la that listens to your commandments, the Torah, Dvarucha, and your Torah, and your words, Yosem Alibu, he places on his heart. I'll explain those in a minute, but they're very powerful words. And somehow I felt, as I was sitting at my desk, that if I didn't remember saying those words, I hadn't done them. I hadn't prayed to God. And because that was that important to focus on that, the song, the words kept coming to me with the melody. So what does it mean, Ashri Ha'ish, happy is the man? I think many times people look at Judaism as something negative, something that has so many requirements, so many demands on a person, and they see it as a negative. There's a saying in Yiddish that people say many times, says, Shver tizayna yid, it's difficult to be a Jew. I, I find that reprehensible. It's really very beautiful. 
Ashrei Ha'ish, happy is the man. Ashi Yishmael the Mitzvah who listens to your commandments. The words, first word in Tehillim in Psalms begins Ashrei Ha'ish. Happy is the man. Happiness is the essence of Judaism. Ibdu Hashem B'Simcha, again one of the songs I'll be playing later on in our series. Serve God with joy. If you don't serve God with joy, then what joy is he going to have? Imagine, imagine having a relationship with a earthly father. And every time you're with him, there's a negativity. You're not going to have a great relationship. But what if every time you see him, Ashrei, you're happy? He's happy, you're happy. What a relationship that is. And Ashrei HaIsha, Ish, by the way, is a elevated term of man. There are four terms of man. And Ish, we know Moshe was called Ish, Elohim, a man of God. Ish is a very elevated term. Asher Yishma the most Pesach, who listens to your commandments. It's translated as listen, but does listen really make any sense? When we say the Shema, the same word. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Is Judaism a hearing test? So if you have great hearing, then you're then you're a righteous person. If you have if you're deaf, then you're then you then you're an evil person. In a sense of not hearing godliness, but really to be to shama to hear means really to comprehend. It says in the portion of Yisrael, be Yishma Yisrael. Yisrael heard. Everybody heard that the Jews had left Egypt and what had happened. But Yisma be Yishma Yisrael. Yisrael heard. What does that mean? The Yisrael not that he heard, but he comprehended. He understood what it meant. He understood what the greatness of the whole thing, not just the news of it, but the depth of it. And that's the key. Sher Yishma the Mitzvah that understands the beauty, the necessity, the privilege of doing the commandments that God asks us to do. But so Rasulcha is Torah. Again, Torah is considered to be the greatest possession that God has. We believe that God and His Torah are one. And the Varcha and His words Again, the, the written Torah and all that has been told to us through the prophets, all the words that were given. Even the Aserah Sadibros, the ten, not commandments, the ten words that are told to us. Yosem Aliba, he places on his heart. On his heart means, again, that the only way to serve God is with joy. That you have to have enthusiasm, you have to look forward to a mitzvah, enjoy a holiday, enjoy putting on tefillin, enjoy making a blessing and, 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 and connecting with God. Not just doing it out of road, but libo, with your heart. And this is something that, imagine a parent and a child relationship. If all of these things are fulfilled, then the end result becomes that the parent is happy, the child is happy, and the relationship they have is amazing. And that's what we strive for. Happy is the man who listens, who understands your commandments, who, who tries to be a part of you and your Torah, again, the essence of God and all that's been told to us by the prophet, putting on his heart, again, trying to make sure that we do serve God as again, first relying in the Shema, the Ahavta Esa Shema and you should love the Lord your God, which is an amazing thing. How can you command someone to be for an emotion? which means that deep within each one of us is a desire to connect to our Father in Heaven. And it's not a commandment that we can't fulfill because it's right within us, that, uh, that feeling to love God, something that we all want to come close to. What I'd like to do again is play this song. Now that you've got some better understanding of what the words Yeah. Uh -huh. 
listening. I hope you enjoyed that. Any of these songs that, uh, again, we're starting the series. This is the first in the series, really. Last week we did an introduction. This is the first song, and hopefully we'll go through probably, I think, around 27 songs. Every, one song every week, and I will be explaining them. Um, it is here on, it'll be on YouTube, on Spotify, but it's also on my website, if you go to music. And the difference there is, again, I went into a recording studio. This is just a cappella with the guitar. But there I did go into a studio. I did voice over voice. It's a little fuller. So, again, if you want to hear it in a fuller way, you know, please go to my website. But, again, I hope you enjoy this. And look forward to another one next week. God bless. Thank you for listening. Have a great Shabbat. Thank you.